Hi, today we're going to be going over A5 of Putnam 1988. This is a functional equation that I find quite interesting, and it actually inspired a problem in APMO 1989. The trick to solving this functional equation was one that I didn't previously know, and I find it quite elegant. This problem is considered moderately hard, as the top, out of the top 200 contestants that did sit this exam, 40 scored between 8 to 10 and the rest scored between 0 to 3. If you want to give the problem a try, pause the video and do so now. Now that I hope you've given the problem a try, here's the trick to solving it. What we're going to do is actually find f of x. How do we do that? By defining a, a recurrence relation as so. Now, what this recurrence relation says is a1 equals f of x and a2 equals f of f of x. So we can rewrite the functional equations that we have here as such. a2 equals 6a0 minus a1. How do we go about solving for a0, a1, or a2 even? Note that we're trying to solve for a1 in particular. Well, we can see that this is just the general case of the recurrence relation a n plus 2 equals 6 a n minus a n plus 1. This is a linear recurrence relation that can be solved by characteristic equations. If you don't know that yet, you can search it on the internet and maybe find some notes for solving linear recurrence relations using characteristic equation. The characteristic equation for this is t squared equals 6 minus t. That's a quadratic that we can solve as so. This implies that t plus 3 times t minus 2 equals 0, which gives us our solutions t equals 2 or t equals minus 3. That means that the general form is a n equals c1 2 to the n plus c2 minus 3 to the n. Now what I want you to know is that a n is just the composition of n, composition of f n times on x. So we know that the domain is positive reals and the range is also positive reals. So as a n is the output of a function, of the function, a n must also be greater than zero, or in other words, in positive reals. But if you notice here, for large values of n, this term can actually become negative, especially for large odd values of n. That means that c2 must be zero, because otherwise we have a contradiction that for some sufficiently large odd n, a n is actually going to be less than zero. That gives us a n equals c1 times 2 to the n. We know that a0 equals x and substituting that we get a0 equals c1 which is equal to x. Therefore we have a n equals 2 to the n x which implies that a1 equals 2 x which is f of x. Therefore, the only solution to this problem is f of x equals 2x, which is then a unique solution, as the problem asks for unique function. That was Putnam 1988A5, a pretty interesting functional equation trick if you ask me. I'm going to try this whenever I see compositions of functions and functional equations now. That marks the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and comment what you liked the most. If you did not enjoy the video, also leave a comment letting me know how I can improve. I'm always open to hearing your suggestion. 
please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post. I also have an Instagram page where I post notes regarding theory in mathematics. If that is interesting to you, please do consider following that as well. My at is creative underscore math underscore.